Hey everybody, today let's go over the procedure to remove the convertible top for repairs on a BMW Z4. So let's start with the necessary tools to complete this job. Listed above are each of the tools you're going to need to do this job. Some tools like power screwdrivers will make the job easier, but are not necessary. Let's begin on the interior of the car. We'll begin by removing each one of these panels. Some are held in by retention clips. Others you can pull straight out. Let's go ahead and get started with the removal of the speaker grill first. To remove the speaker grill, we'll use our pry tool and we'll pry upwards from the bottom to release the clips. After those clips are released, the panel will pull out. Now we'll release each one of these five Phillips head screws. Next, we'll remove the side vent cover by prying out, and we'll remove the plug by prying with a screwdriver. As soon as that's removed, we can move on to the side trim. Now we can pull the side trim piece off with our fingers, and we can remove the side weather strip door sill with our hand as well. Now that that's removed, we can remove this top weather strip by inserting a screwdriver between the white clips and the metal that it's clipped to. If we relieve each side, we'll be able to pull straight up. And now we can move on to the plug that holds it in onto the body. We'll pull that out by hand. Now that that's out, we can move up to the top of this weather strip and we can remove the rest of it by hand. It's held in with a glue strip, so you'll have to pry a little bit, and you'll see some glue on the rubber and some stay on the body, but we can handle that when we go back to putting it back together. Now we can access the clip. We'll use our pry tool, and we'll remove the retaining clip from the bottom of this panel. And now we can move up top to the torque screw and we can remove that torque screw using our screwdriver to relieve the tension on this side panel and access the electrical wiring. Now, with that panel moved back, we can access the wiring. We're going to unclip three wires. We have this white connector, the black connector, and then once we remove this from the body, we will be able to see the connector that goes into the convertible top control unit. We will unclip each one of these three wires. So when we remove the top, these connectors will come out with the convertible top. Next, we'll move up top. You can see these two clips pop off. This goes to, if your vehicle came equipped with a hard top option, it'll have this. Not all Z4s have that, but if it does, it's a simple removal with just those two clips. Now you can see all of our wiring is held off to the side. Our clip for the hard top is off to the side. Now we're gonna move over to the passenger side and we'll remove these clips as well and disconnect the electrical. Now that we're done on the interior of the car, let's move to the trunk. Inside the trunk, we're going to relieve the pressure relief valve on the convertible top hydraulic unit. We'll do that by turning this red tab 180 degrees, which will hold the valve open. Now that that's open, we can move the top to the open position and begin removing the weather strip from around the body. We'll do this by pinching and pulling upwards and inwards. And we'll do that all the way around the top until it's completely free and able to move. Now that that's done, let's move back in the trunk where we can remove the trunk compartment shelf. We'll do that by removing these clips from the underneath side. We'll push on each side of that clip and you'll hear it pop and go into the side of the vehicle. Don't worry about that. We will be able to retrieve those once we remove the convertible top 
and we can reinstall them later. We'll also pull this metal bracket towards the center of the car, which will release the trunk cover. Now with that released, we'll pull the cover out from the trunk. With that removed, we can see the 10 millimeter bolts that hold the top bow to the body. After we remove that top bow, we can go around to the outside and we're going to release these clips from outside the car. We'll release this clip by prying carefully with a screwdriver underneath the top. After that, we're going to release the main bolts holding the top into the body. The bottom bolt is slotted. So you're going to just want to loosen that up three or four turns, but leave it in. The top bolt we will completely remove from the vehicle to allow us to lift up the top. With that bolt removed, we can begin removing the top. We'll do that by holding the top where the window meets. We're going to lift the passenger side of the bow out first and then the driver's side to prevent damaging the body. Sometimes the pump gets stuck down, so you need to reach down, grab the pump with your other hand, and lift straight up, and there we go, the top is removed. Now that the top's out, let's take a look and see what's in there. To the left, we can see the pin that we only unscrewed three or four times so that we could still remove the top. That top's gonna channel back in there. The next thing, we see all that debris. That debris clogs up the drains, which fills up the pump with water and causes it to fail. That clip right there is one of those clips that held on that trunk deck lid that we had to remove. Like I said, it'll fall down in there, but we can grab it later. Let's move over to the passenger side and we'll see the same thing. You're gonna see a lot of debris in there. That compartment's a little smaller because the pump's not over there, so it doesn't need to have so much room. But it's the same deal, that drain's going to fill with water and then cause problems. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and it gives you the confidence to be able to tackle the repairs on your Z4 convertible top yourself as well. If you have any questions, comment down below and let me know. I'd be happy to hear them and answer them for you.